protagonist is actually somebody who is perceived as um, unlikable and standoffish and rejecting society and doesn't seems to not want our love. So we have a new a new hero and a new heroine. I mean, she seems on the surface, Fiona seems on the surface to be very much like what we expect from a princess, but we all know that she's hiding a terrible secret, that at night she becomes an ogre, and she thinks that it's, you know, it, it, it's the thing that she feels the worst about, and she, she doesn't believe that anyone would ever love her. It's that old, if they really knew me, they wouldn't care about me. And Shrek also has a secret, too, where he seems to be this gruff, um, you know, monster because that's what the perception of ogres is and really he's quite sensitive and you know ogres have layers like onions and so, you know he, he's really sensitive and he wants somebody to bust through the wall that he's created to keep himself safe you know because when your parents sit you down when you're seven years old and say you're ugly and life's going to be hard for you so the best thing you can do <laughs> is find a shack away from everybody and stay out of the way that is scarring. <laughs> that, that can instill a really significant belief system about yourself. But what I, is interesting to me when I was thinking about it is how cavalier we are as adults with children and their self-esteem issues sometimes because it's so easy to say, don't worry about what other people think about you. And yet, we have shows on television right now like Pretty Wicked Mom. So clearly our self-image issues don't disappear as we grow up. The only difference is that we have financial resources to buy ourselves self-esteem and change things about ourselves. Mm. So it's really easy to say to your kid, don't worry, they didn't really mean it. It's like, well, yeah, they probably did, because kids can be really cruel to one another. And it's really hard to be self-secure when you're still self-actualizing. How can you really be your most authentic self when you're trying to figure out who that person is? So it's it's really, I, I, I will watch myself the next time I say to my son, you know, oh, don't worry about what they think. That, that isn't important. Well, it all impacts you, and it takes a really secure person to not let other people's opinions about you affect you. But what I love about this show is that by uniting everybody, it's like the self-esteem just... It's a net of self-esteem. And Donkey is kind of the one that points that out to everybody. It's like, we all go through bad things, but if we go through them together, we are an army. We are united, and we can face it together. If you have friends, if you have allies, and if we all decide that we're going to be one instead of a bunch of individuals, you know, raging into the machine. So that's what I love. That's what I love about Shrek.